your hands. Please put your hands together for Iwan Um. Yeah, you all. Hey, what's up, people? Hey, you see, I uh, hear about OJ dying last week, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, you know? What's even more crazy is the way he crashed the internet. <laughs> uh, the second he died, like half of America got online and was like, who the fuck is OJ Simpson? <laughs> Yeah, I was watching uh, this Bigfoot documentary, and I was struck at how dedicated these Bigfoot hunters were, you know? They're so devoted to something that might not even be real. Like comedians in their careers. Yeah, last April uh, 4th, last week, is a new holiday. It's uh, now National Burrito Day. Yeah, it's cool, right? I love burritos. And the very next day, April 5th, it's now National Toilet Dogging Day. <laughs> Hey, did you guys hear about that uh, boat that crashed on that bridge over in Baltimore? That's pretty crazy, right? It crashed on the Francis Scott Key Bridge. That's kind of ironic, right? It's like, oh, say, can you see? There's a giant fucking boat coming! Yeah, they said the boat came from uh, Singapore. I was like, ah, oh, crap. Asian driver, you know? <laughs> yeah, they said on the news the boat weighed 200 million pounds. Yeah, it's pretty damn heavy, right? It was actually even heavier. It was actually 300 million pounds. But my ex-wife, she got off the boat right before the crash. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was talking to this Persian guy the other day. I was like, you're Persian? From Persia? And he was like, yeah, where are you from? He's like, uh, the Han Dynasty, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, I was talking about watching this documentary, a World War II documentary, and uh, I was struck at how the English, they were all like, complaining about how the American soldiers were taking their women and stuff. They even had their own saying. They were like, the problem with the Yanks is that they're overpaid, oversex, and overheal. Like, yeah, would you prefer the Nazis, you ungrateful bastards? <laughs> yeah, in Korea, you know, during the Korean War, we were like, here, take our daughters, take our sisters, just take us with you! You know, I'm pretty sure the whole Asian woman fetish thing started during the Korean War. You know, they're like, I you know, say, yo, hey, how you doing there? <laughs> yes. You know, uh, I'm Asian, you know. Asian people, we love Jewish people. You know? Yeah, we're like, sensei, please teach us. But I know those Jewish people don't like us too much. You know? I think I know why. It's because of our eyes, you know. It's because if you look, it's not that my eyes are slanted or small. It's that Asian people, we have an extra layer of skin over our eyelids. It's basically a foreskin, right? And you don't just know how foreskin is. <laughs> yeah. I was watching the Oscars a couple weeks ago. It was pretty cool, right? Towards the end, I was getting excited. I was like, hey, look, we're bringing back the mummy. And then I was like, oh no, that's just Al Pacino. <laughs> yeah, I was in the army, uh, first cavalry division before that. It was pretty cool, you know. But it was weird being the only Asian person. Every day, people were just looking at me like, are we supposed to shoot this guy? That's <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. You know, you get some good benefits being in the army. So I'd say the best benefit is the ability to get old men hard ons. Yeah, old men, they love hearing army stories. You know, I guess because it makes them feel younger or gives them hope for the future or something. Like, if I meet some old man at a park and I start telling them army stories, I'm telling him, come on with me. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's a lot of uh, anti-gay cultures are actually quite gay. You know, like uh, Arab culture, for example, right? They're notorious for being harsh on the LGBTQ, yet Arab men openly hold hands in the street. Right? How hypocritical is that? They're like, don't act gay! La 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 la. The Russians, right? They're like world famous for being violent towards the LGBTQ. But I was watching the Olympics once, and this Russian gymnast, after he finished his jump thing, Instead of high-fiving his teammate, he kissed him on the mouth. And it wasn't just a pet either. They were really going at it. We know time at the homosexual in Russia. Come, Vladimir. <laughs> yeah, it seems that men in other cultures enjoy a level of intimacy with each other that we just lack out here. And I've seen a little bit, you know, because I was in the army, right? The army is very anti-gay. Because it's so gay. <laughs> Constantly in these situations where you're like surrounded by other dudes and you're either totally naked or just, you know, mostly naked. Like the shower is a perfect example, right? 
There used to be this one guy, he'd be in the shower every time with a rock hard phoner. At the time, uh, the policy towards gay people in the army was don't ask, don't tell. Nobody had to ask this guy if he was gay or not. He was all knocking over shampoo bottles and shit. Yeah, it's shocking, you know, you walk in the shower room like, what the fuck? Hey, soldier! Yeah, in the army, you're supposed to be hardcore, but not that hard. Not that core. Yeah. These are Ron Swallow's jokes. <laughs> yeah, I was watching uh, Star Trek, the, the old uh, show, the original, and I noticed uh, the original Enterprise has these things on the front of its engines. They look kind of like boobs. I was like, you know, they should have named that one the Enterprise D Cup. Yeah, I like watching uh, whatever, Deep Space Nine. Oh, no, no. Uh, my favorite movie is uh, First Contact, you know. In the movie, uh, their data has like a piece of whatever skin on this thing, and then the board queen like blows on it, and then his little whatever hairs get all goose bubbly, and he's like, <sighs> you know. But that's just like all artistic uh, discretion, right? Because you know what the script really says was, board queen gives data blowjob. <laughs> okay, I think I'll leave it at that. Thank you very much. My name is Iwan. Give it up for Iwan. Nice job, Iwan. And now we're going to have another comedian. You want to find your pen, dude? <laughs>